Hey guys, this is Dan Sam Lego Maniac with another custom millimeter showcase video. And today we're going to take a look at only one Iron Man suit so far, I um, hopefully. And that is the Heartbreaker armor from Iron Man 3. Yeah, I had this minifigure for such a long time. Um, and I decided, and I realized I need, I just need at least one more minifigure to um, make sure that my Iron Man 3 base for Brick Fair is all even. Uh, so I decided to, you know, let's just upgrade the Heartbreaker armor because there's kind of little things to do with it anyway. So this is a pretty unique Iron Man suit. This is actually the first Iron Man suit so far I use uh, that I use green stuff on, and you can obviously tell by looking at his shoulders and some parts of the helmet. So yeah, this isn't going to be the last Iron Man suit made by me, probably. Um, it's just the I, I wish I could like throw in other suits like the gem the Star Boost armor, which is also known as Gemini, or Bones armor, or the Silver Centurion Red Snapper, or <laughs> or the Igor armor, something like that. And you know, after making this suit, I kind of want to make all of the Iron Man suits from the Mark 8 to the Mark 41. <laughs> so um, yeah, even though the even though like the the first part, like the Mark 8 to Mark 13, I believe those are just like random suits, and we only saw at least one of them, and they mostly look like Mark 7 suits anyway. You know, I'll still make them. Because just just because to satisfy my OCD, I guess. Because I'm making Iron Man suits is definitely a challenge and pretty interesting, and this one's no exception. So let's continue with this figure. As you guys can tell, um, the Avengers showcase video still isn't done yet. I'm still editing it, and um, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff I need to do. Now I have to fin finish editing half the the last half of the video. Then I need to make the thumbnail that has that includes like 13 minifigures in total. Oh my god, oh my god, this, it's too much, please kill me, and uh, I have to fill out job applications and boring college stuff, so yeah. So, um, to start the, the Iron Man helmet, this is this is basically an upgraded minifigure, but a little bit to the max zone. The things I did not paint was the front torso, except the, the arc reactor and the silver bits here, those were sculpted. The, the front detail on the legs, up to up to here, and the, the back torso, and uh, the... And uh, um, this little red thing, the chin here, that that was the only thing not painted by me. Starting off with the helmet, there's a lot of line detail in here. I, I decided to make sure it's thicker. Be I made the lines thicker so that way it, it stands out a lot more. And just looking at it, this looks like a completely different Iron Man suit. If you look at LEGO's official ho Heartbreaker helmet, it's basically a same Iron Man helmet that we received, with, but with blue eyes and this little red thing in the middle. But it just looks like a normal Iron Man suit. What I did here, I completely changed it by giving all these outlining and sculpting it all around with green stuff. And the things that are sculpted are the back here, this whole entire silver bit, and this little gold bit here, and the, these two silver bits on the sides. Those were completely painted, uh, sculpted. And uh, he, there is also a HUD. Even, he does also include a HUD, which is a uh, Another awesome design, and it's actually, I, I still think my Mark 45 HUD's better, um, but this but this one's still cool though. It seems like over, over the times my my HUD's actually improved. If you want to see the, and if you guys want to see the my first HUD ever, uh, that would be like the I think the Mark Six or or Seven. It's one of those, and you can see, oh my God, it drastically changed over like uh what two weeks or something, um. So yeah, and uh, the the front part here is actually sculpted because um, Lego didn't really make the front as accurate. I mean, they made it blue. All right, they made it blue. All right, I, that's that's one thing. But the 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 way the arc reactor is shaped, it does not look accurate at all. So I so I sculpted it, and then I sculpted the arc reactor and give a little more three dimensional shape to it, so it looks cool. And the shoulder bits, because on um, the Heartbreaker is a pretty bulky armor, so and, and the shoulder pads. Kind of, kind of does personify that, so that's what I did. I, it would be a good time to use Amazing Armory's torso, the the Heartbreaker armor. But you know, Amazing Armory, you know where that that thing shipped from? It's from China, and the shipping fee will be over the top. But I'll, and I'll never use Amazing Armory for Iron Man figures, most um for like a, like the the Mark like the Mark Two to Mark Seven or the Mark Forty Two, Three and Five because. Because um, I like Legos printing, and um, I, I think it doesn't—it's not necessary. But I may use Amazing Armory's um torsos 
for really bulky Iron Man armors. So probably like Red Snap or something. I don't know. I'm just thinking something random on top of my head. So yeah, so I'm, that's why I'm not going to use Amazing Mark Armory torso, torsos because that means I have to have to buy so many of them to satisfy all my Iron Man figures. It's just not going to work. So I apologize for that. And uh, the feet. The, oh yeah, the the toe printing is actually not is actually not my my paint job. Forgot to go over that. The legs are basically simple. There's so many details to put on the Iron Man figure. You just can't. That I I can only fit the selected ones. There's actually more detail in the arms, but this is all I could really fit really. So um and uh, everything else is self-explanatory. And uh, the legs does continue both sides, and it is fully posable because I didn't sand it or anything. So yeah, that's basically it, and it does comes with repulsors, and that's basically it of this figure, so let's just conclude this video. So that's all I have to say in this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this, um, yeah, if you notice, there, I have a ton of Iron Man figures in the background, I have the Mark 42, Mark 45, Mark 43, Mark 3, <laughs> Mark 6, uh, War Machine Mark 2, Mark 1, uh, the Mark 6, Iron Patriot, and the Mark 2, which is, which is, um, yeah, right there. And a heartbreaker. So that's like, oh man. <laughs> that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's 11 um, Iron Man minifigures in total. And this this is not going to be my last Iron Man mini, uh, figure, obviously, because I'll work on the Mark 46. Oh, wait, I forgot the Hulkbuster here. So uh, 12 Iron Man suits. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely work on more Iron Man figures. And if you guys want, to, want me to make some more Iron Man Legions from Iron Man 3, let me know in the comments below. So that's all I have to say in this video, and I'll see you guys later.